I would like to get right into what does Docs actually look like. And we're looking right now into the web application or the web window of our project. And the way this is broken up is that we have a couple of folders up here and that really describe orchestration information. These are places where I want to put documents um, that are going to do certain things. And then I have a general project repository of all our data. And because I'm currently logged in as the administrator, I have something called a recycle bin. The recycle bin is viewable only by the project administrator because as any individual comes along into the project and they delete a document, it automatically always goes into the recycle bin. So we maintain a complete perpetual and perpetuity history of all the documents in there, including any documents that were deleted from any of the folders within the overall process. One thing I should point out is that this recycle bin cannot be purged. The documents that exist in the recycle bin will always be a part of the project. So that whole premise that we mentioned earlier, unlimited storage. We are not looking at charging for any additional storage space. You put a document in there, we'll manage it for the life of the project. We want to make sure that you have complete integrity in terms of all of your document uh, environments. The other piece to, to mention, these orchestration folders. The, the generalized folders are really just repositories where I can place a document, and depending on the user's permission level, I will see various different levels of documents in the system. Under Revit, I will probably see an architectural document. So here I will see my architectural Revit model. In the viewing pane, this is more of a document sharing and document or file repository environment. I can preview that information. I can still see historical data about that Revit model. This is where I get to pause for effect here as that model loads up. So I will have the Revit model. I can see information about that model, including all the sheets that exist in that particular Revit project. I can also see the history and the, the, the historical versions of those documents. I can even, if I had an er, uh, earlier version or version 2, I could even make one version current over the other. But we still have all the same ability to view and uh, interact with this particular model. Now, in the generalized, in the file repository, this is more of how do we share documents. How do we share information about the documents happens in our orchestration site. So if I look at the plans folder as an example, I want to um, have in here, this is where I have all of the individual sheets. Now, one thing I will point out, we have two different viewing methods, the thumbnail and also a listing view. And you'll notice in the listing view is that the, all of the, these documents are actually being extracted from a single RVT file. So my ground floor or lower floor level document itself is actually a sub-document of the file arc.rvt. If I select any one of these documents, I now have the opportunity to view any issues and uh, also look at any of the markups that happen to be in this particular document. So it's taking a little bit of it, it's probably already refreshed. So if I look at this particular document, and not an awful lot for me to truly mark up, but I can zoom in, I can go into my markup pane, and if I wanted to add a level of descriptive or some issue that I want to uh, change, I may say I want to add a markup, I want to add a boundary around this particular space, and I am marking up a particular sheet within an RBT file. So I'm going to add a piece of text. And that text that I want to add is um, room name to change to simply scrub. All right, so we now have this particular document or this particular markup that has been itemized and we'll just place this into the view. And now I am done and we now itemize or show this particular markup as an event or as a historical item in the, in the history of that particular document.